Take it. For gold to silver, you know, for my metal. I figured you'd recommend me for one since I uh, pulled your boots out of the fire. If we present you with a medal, you'll end up sitting on stage listening to politicians make speeches for a couple of hours. That's a good point. They'd probably make me shave, too. I spent the last seven weeks working on this, baby. No medal's worth that. So, <laughs> Commander, why don't you tell me why you're really here? How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet. I love you, Joker. If you've got a pilot who knows how to handle it. I love you. Balance isn't what you'd expect. Takes a while to get used to the <coughs> precise drive core we got stuffed in the back, and a power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. I like to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me, didn't you? Well, I'll tell you the same thing I told you, Captain. You want me as your pilot. I'm not good. I'm not even great. I'm the I best damn helmsman in the Alliance fleet. Top of my class in flight school, I earned that. All those commendations in my file, I earned every single one. Those weren't given to me as charity for my disease. Ugh, hell, hell. Ugh. What are you talking about? Are you sick? You mean... You mean you didn't know? Oh, crap. Okay, I've got Froelich syndrome, brittle bone disease. The bones in my legs never develop properly. They're basically hollow, too much force, and they'll shatter. Even with crutches and my leg braces, it's hard to get around. One wrong step and crack! It's very dramatic, but I've learned to manage my condition, Commander. Put the Normandy in my hands and I'll make her dance for you. Just don't ask me to get up and dance unless, you know, you like the sound of snapping shin bones. I do. Please get up and dance. I have to go. All right, see ya. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too safe. Too secure. secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to wrong? travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military yeah, pretty cool, though. quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. All right, Liara. Let's have a talk. Commander. Are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I like Dr. Chakwas. I, I got a soft spot for her. I mean, I don't need to justify being nice to someone, but... not shown up. I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Benezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. Don't worry, Liara. I trust you. I know you won't let me down. It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Thank you. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Saren on the run. Yeah, we do. It won't be long now. Saren's good, but I'm better. Good. He's rotten. To the core. Hmm. <laughs> I could tell as soon as I met him. Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have if I thought it was important. I'll decide what's important. Now tell me how you know Saren. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job Excuse out me. near the edges of the Terminus systems. They said it paid well and the boss was never around to ride them. They said he was looking for more men, too. So I checked it out. 
I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. It wasn't that open, and he only showed his face once. We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freighter. Our biggest haul yet. I was on board checking bodies for valuables, looking for some extra credits. That's when I saw him. What did Saren want with the ship? I don't know what he wanted. He was just moving through the ship, watching. A couple of the mercs called him by name, but he never spoke to them. Never spoke to anyone. I had a really bad feeling about him, so I got the hell out. Didn't even wait to get paid. Hmm. What kind of cargo was the freighter carrying? What was Saren after? I don't know. All I saw on that ship was food and medical supplies. There were some basic weapons. But I never talked to Rex much on my first playthrough of this game. If there was any value on that ship, I didn't see it. That's why a lot I of things that I don't know. That's the only time you saw him. Yeah. Didn't even know who he was. Still wouldn't if I hadn't joined up with you. But my instincts were right. Every other merc on that mission turned up dead within a week. Every damn one. So long, Rex. Shepard. Shepard. Nope, not even interested, Ashley. Sorry. You're boring. Garrus, however. Come in. How are you? Why did you want to be a C-Sec officer in the first place? That's a good question. There were several reasons, I guess. Like what? Probably the same as most officers. I wanted to fight injustice. I wanted to help people. I guess my father had something to do with it, too. He was CSEC, one of the best. I grew up hearing about his accomplishments or seeing his picture on the vids after a big arrest. No, you're one of the best. He's not impressed that you're going after Saren? My father's a C-Sec man to the bone. Do things right, but don't give them an all, he says. He thinks I'm being too rash, hmm. too impatient. He's worried I'll become just like Saren. He actually taught me how to become a inspector when I was younger, for the same reasons. You were asked to be a Spectre? While I was targeted as a possible Spectre candidate, me and about a thousand other Turian military recruits. I could have received special training, but my father didn't like it. He despises the Spectres. He hates the idea of someone having unlimited power, no accountability. He wouldn't like you, Commander. No offense. <laughs> I suppose I can understand his concern. You can. But Saren's not going to play by our rules, c sets rules. If you want to nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't restricted by policies and procedures. You're a quick learner, Garrus. We'll beat him at his own game. It's the only way to stop someone like him. I'm right behind you. Oh, hello, Shepard. Are you okay? I don't know. Your ship is amazing, and your crew's been really great to me, especially your chief engineer. But I just sort of feel out of place. The Normandy runs so smooth, it feels like we're not even moving. And the engines are so quiet. How do you sleep at night? I find it rather peaceful. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. But it's more than just a silence. This ship feels so empty. It's like half the crew is missing. Back home, I couldn't wait to go on my pilgrimage. I couldn't wait to get away from the crowds. Now that I'm out here, I kind of miss them. Sometimes we don't appreciate what we have till it's gone. That's true. I'm starting to wonder if that's what the pilgrimage is really about. It's given me a whole new perspective on my people and our culture. You know, there's always a few who go on their pilgrimages and never return. I always assumed something bad happened to them. But maybe they just wanted a different life. You do plan to return to the migrant fleet, right? I could.
could never abandon my people, Shepard. I will go back eventually. But we have to stop Saren first. Otherwise, I might not have a home to go back to. I should go. See you later. <laughs>